Phone Dog 101. Hi, I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com, and welcome to PhoneDog 101. In this video, we're going to talk about how to customize your Android smartphone. When you buy a smartphone, you have a few choices as to which operating system you would like to use. Of the most popular, there's iOS, which is what's used on the iPhone, and then you have Android, which is what's used on T-Mobile's MyTouch series, Verizon's Droid series, the Galaxy S devices, and the Evo from Sprint. One of the great things about Android is that it's so easy to customize a device, and I'm not talking about just changing the wallpaper or rearranging the icons. Pretty much everything you see on the display can be customized to make it look the way you want it to look. So in this video, we're going to talk about four simple and easy ways you can customize your Android smartphone. If you're new to Android, this video will be especially helpful. Downloading a launcher is one of the quickest ways to have tons of customizing options available at your fingertips. A launcher allows you to customize your dock at the bottom of the home screen, the layout of your icons, the layout of your pages, transition effects, your app drawer, and so much more. Most launchers also allow you to download themes, some of which are pretty cool. Let's take a look at this Android device. This device has a dock at the bottom of the screen, and I've added a clock to the home page and a couple of icons. It's all pretty standard. Now, I'll switch over to a launcher that I've downloaded. Within a few seconds, you can already see a few changes. The dock is different, the icons are a little different, and I've added some transitions when scrolling through the pages. I was also able to customize the app drawer to give it a 3D effect. And you can do a lot more. You have several options for dock style, transition style, and other appearance settings. It may seem like a lot to deal with, but don't feel intimidated. Just open the settings and start changing things. You'll immediately be impressed with everything you can do. Let's take a look at one other popular launcher. This one is called ADW Launcher. Here you can see that things look even more different, mostly because I have downloaded a custom theme. This launcher has many of the same features that the previous launcher had, but it also allows you to download themes that can quickly change the look of your device. Again, along with that, we have a custom dock that you can change and a different app drawer. With a launcher, it is so easy to make your phone fit your personality. Even if you didn't like the look of the two launchers that I showed in this video, that's okay. There are so many options, even within just these two launchers, that no two devices will look alike. To find other popular launchers, simply search for a launcher in the market. The ability to add widgets is one of the best and most fun features of Android. Instead of having just a static icon on your home screen that takes you to a sports app or a weather app, you can use a widget that will automatically update and show you the information you want to know without having to actually open the app. But widgets aren't just for weather and sports. You can use widgets for Twitter, messaging, there's battery status widgets, clock widgets, weather widgets, and so much more. In fact, widgets are so popular that Google has actually added a separate widget category in the market. One of the most popular widgets is clock and weather widgets. These can instantly make your device look so cool. There are options for fancy and beautiful clock widgets, simple and elegant clock widgets, and more stylized clock widgets. Most clock widgets have settings within themselves so you can customize the look of it. To find more clocks, simply search for clock or digital clock in the market. You'll find several options. Some developers have even created live wallpapers that have a clock built in, but we'll get onto that in the next section. Changing your wallpaper is one of the quickest and easiest ways to customize your device. Most phones come with a couple of wallpaper options. You can also download wallpaper packs. Live wallpapers are also very popular. A live wallpaper is basically a wallpaper that you can interact with or that is animated in some way. 
One popular example of this is the Nexus Live wallpaper. However, there are tons of other options, and you can see a few here. Live wallpapers have become so popular that Google has actually added a live wallpaper category in the market, so it's easier for you to find them. I mentioned earlier that some live wallpapers have clocks built in. This is a quick way of customizing your wallpaper and getting a cool clock all with one download. The stock keyboard that comes with every Android device is one of the best, but not everyone will like it. That's okay because you can easily download keyboard replacements from the market. Unfortunately, most keyboards are not free and can be a little pricey, but it's worth it if you find the Android keyboard difficult to use. Different keyboards have different layouts, key designs, methods for use, and even autocorrect functionality, some of which will better fit the way you type. It may seem like a small thing, but if your device doesn't have a physical keyboard, keyboard replacements can come in very handy. So there they are, four easy ways to customize your Android device. Now of course, these are not your only options. Some users choose to dig even deeper and root their device or install custom ROMs. However, for most mainstream users, and especially first-time Android users, these methods should give you plenty of flexibility. If you have any questions about the widgets I use, wallpapers, launchers, or anything else, the details can be found in the description below this video. I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com, and hopefully this video has helped you to customize your Android smartphone and make it fit you and your personality.